the New York State Best Management Practices for Golf Course Project proudly presents an affordable, effective equipment wash station video. The New York State Best Management Practices for Golf Courses Project began as a progressive idea to codify standards of golf course management designed to protect water quality. Just as in golf, where the rules are self-enforced, the New York State BMP Project established the rules. The website was published in 2014, and a survey of golf courses in New York was conducted in 2015 that identified several key practices that required additional education resources. Among them was the equipment washing stations. Clearly a water quality concern. The following instructional video is designed to provide an affordable, effective approach to equipment wash stations to protect water quality. Outlines a project undertaken at Locust Hill Country Club, a certified Audubon Cooperative Sanctuary and member of the New York Green Biggest Business Program, formerly known as the New York Environmental Leaders. Locust Hill Country Club is located in Pittsford, New York, a suburb of Rochester, New York. Pollution Prevention Institute is part of the Galisano Institute of Sustainability at the Rochester Institute of Technology. This project also included the University of Buffalo Civil Engineering. Here's the original wash station at Locust Hill Country Club that was identified during recertification in Audubon for a need of improvement. After the bulk solids are removed from the trough of water, nutrient chemicals were draining into a wooded area causing objectionable odor. Here you see the staff removing the solids that are then composted. In 2015, because Lo Locust Hill Country Club was a green business, it had access to the Pollution Prevention Institute and partnered first to understand the size of the system it would need. Water meters were installed to determine how much water was used and water volumes were systematically reduced to try to downsize the system. Pre-wash air blowing was used to reduce the water use required for the size of the system. The first step was to use pre-wash air blowing. This practice alone cut water use 50%. A second study was conducted to assess nozzle type. An inexpensive brass nozzle was chosen for use. The design of the system to clean and reuse approximately 700 gallons a day was finalized. The schematic of the system was developed that included the screen, filter, plastic tank, sand, UV lamp, pumps, and associated pipes and fittings. The system was designed to remove large solids in the trough and water pumped from the drain up into the hydro screen. Then gravity fed to the sand filter where it is aerated and moves through the sand into the mid-stage pump designed to maintain a head of water in the sand filter tank. Water is pumped onto the holding tank, exposed to UV lamp and available for reuse. The completed system has a relatively small footprint, and as this expense report from the preliminary report indicates, a relatively small cost. Water quality testing so far is indicating the improvements in water quality through the system. In conclusion, this project found that you could reduce water use significantly by pre-wash air blowing and restricted nozzle flow. That allowed the system to be sized down into the 700 gallon per day, and that was finalized in the study. Overall, 90% of the water is expected to be used and 90% reduction of wastewater is going to occur. A detailed bill of materials indicated costs less than $6,000 were associated with the project. And a recycling system will be monitored periodically to quantify water quality issues. Information about the project is available through the Pollution Prevention Institute, the New York State BMP Project, and Audubon International. Further services and information available directly from the Pollution Prevention Institute and the New York Green Businesses, 
major funding for this project was provided by the Turfgrass Environmental Stewardship Fund and the BMP Foundation. Remember to keep up to date with all BMP info at the BMP website.